What is up everyone? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about where you can upload and distribute your podcast from. So in today's video, I'm going to be essentially walking you through the step-by-step -step process on like once you've finally got the hard work done, you've made your first episode for the podcast, and now you're thinking, what the hell do I do? <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to walk you through um, how to essentially upload the podcast and what's supposed to happen. So for today's purposes, I'm going to be using Podbean. So you can upload your podcast to multiple places such as Spotify, iTunes, um, Google Podcast, and etc. There's other places, but these are like the three big major players. Now the thing is, not similar to, or not similar to YouTube I should say, or a blog or whatnot, you don't just go in and press an upload button on that site server after you make an account and voila, you have it up there. It's a little different for podcasts. The place where your podcast is hosted and people um, listen to it, like iTunes and whatnot, they don't actually upload your podcast. They take it through an RSS feed. Now, without getting too complicated into it, the RSS feed is saved in a specific spot. Podbean is one of those places that hosts your RSS feed. You can host it on your own website. You can host it somewhere completely different. Uh, there's free sites out there. Podbean is not free, FYI. And then there's paid sites such as Podbean. Um, the difference with the paid sites, I, I can make another video like doing a compare and comparison between them, but I personally like Podbean because there's no hours or anything limited. You can just pay and you go. You just upload as you pay. I really like that. The others have limited through hours. Like you can only do three hours a month. And I was like, eh, I don't like that. I might be doing a lot more episodes a month than three hours worth. Um, but again, if your episodes are five minutes each, it might work for you. For this one, there's no limits. Now, I did just start a podcast, so if you guys want to listen to it, i leave a link in the description below for all three platforms. Um, but um, I just wanted to show you how I did it and what you need to do. So once you create a Podbean account, and they have a free version as well, so you can obviously do free version with Podbean. Um, you can choose your version, whatever you want. I chose the $10 monthly one. Um, you can obviously choose a different one, a free one or a paid one or more expensive one, uh, depending on how you want to go. I would advise doing free and then going from there. And once you create it, you can see like this type of screen, you, you'll show up over here. And this is without you uploading anything. You'll just have like, it'll be blank. You'll see some of, if you have a follower, followers, whoever you're following, I think they make you follow 10 people and follow them afterwards. Um, you can see from there. Then what you essentially need to do is there's a place called podcast dashboard. I would recommend you going there, well, which is here. In this screen, you have your statistics that are showing. And again, I just uploaded it a few days ago. Um, so you have your statistics showing up on where your podcast is and what's essentially going on. Um, your, what's it called? Yeah, so that's like a full-blown dashboard. You can do publish. You have a layout of how your podcast um, theme looks like because they give you a, an overall feed type thing. Um, you have your statistics, detailed pages where it shows you who's watching, what country, um, agents, etc. Like is it Apple? Is it Spotify? Is it Google? Uh, in premium and then we have settings and then in settings you just have your miscellaneous stuff happening like what is it what is it about you put all your information here so you the thing is you should definitely fill this out before you go in and publish an episode i would highly recommend that like a channel logo a channel title a brief description because everything you do here will be carried over to your podcast so i would highly recommend you filling out all these information that you need. In feed iTunes, same thing, iTunes summary, you put the author name, uh, you put categories, e email, um, if it's explicit or not, and whatnot. So you go from there. Now, the main thing, you go to publish. In publish, you this is where you now put in episodes. This is where you say episode one, episode two. And just to show you, this is where I went in. So if I just write new episode, it takes me to this page where I just upload the file. It, it can only be in like um, podcast friendly files. I think you have to be under 100 megabytes or 200 megabytes, something of the sort. It has to be like an MP3 file. And yeah, they have their own uh, like rules and segments that you have to obviously follow. Uh, you can't do like a WAV file. That's what I was initially trying to do. Once you have it published, um, like I said, this is your blog page, how it looks like. Um, you can see I left my um, my referral links in there. It shows like my downloads, my episodes, my followings. Um, this is how it's going to look like on other places as well, such as um, iTunes and Spotify. Now, just to show you how the back end look like, so if I go back to update, you can again always be updating this. And you can always make your, uh, uh, episodes free or premium, which is I feel like that's pretty interesting. 
Um, so after you have it uploaded, and let's say it's published, everything is good over here, you essentially need to get your RSS feed. And this is the thing we discussed about. Um, I don't remember where to get the RSS feed from. Let's see. So uh, in our, your RSS feed is, if you go to settings and in feed slash iTunes, you see your RSS feed right there. And that is what you need to be able to essentially put your podcast wherever you want. This part is fairly simple. I am going to make another video on like each and every single step on like which, where to upload those, like Spotify, I'm gonna make a separate video for that. Uh, and then talk about the time, uh, Google, and then iTunes, same things for those. But this is like your main thing. If you can get this piece done, the next piece is not as hard as you might think. I would say this is, and I don't think this is hard. It's just people get a little confused and scared. I did myself as well. It took me like two months to make the podcast because I was like, I need the right equipment. I read the right mics. I need the right tools. Where do I upload it? What is an RSS feed? I was doing research, listening to podcasts, listen, reading blog posts, watching YouTube videos. So that's like a lot of things. People do get a little caught up into that. I would personally recommend go to Podbean, they have a free version, check out the free version, upload an episode or two, publish it, and again, I'll, as soon as the other video's up, I'll leave a link for, uh, just in the description for all of them and in the comments for you guys to obviously check out, and then that will show you step by step. And again, that one is gonna be like a two minute video each, just to show you like, this is how you do Spotify. I just don't wanna bombard all this information in one video, so I'm trying to like break it out for you guys so it's simpler and easier for you to follow and whatnot. But yeah, um, overall, I'm fairly excited with the results. I haven't really even promoted it. I got 14 plays. Uh, the only thing I did is um, the other person on this channel, I just shared it with him. and Well, we both made it. <laughs> and that's all. I was like, oh, look, it's public. Um, and yeah, I think the most, just to just, uh, I know we're going on a tangent. Sorry. Just to show, I think my highest one is on Spotify. Yeah, six downloads on Spotify. Just pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't even. I, I don't even have Spotify. Well, I think I just have it. I didn't even see it on Spotify. I saw it on Apple. So that's the only place I personally saw it. And obviously the Podbean app itself has it as well. And again, I find it pretty cool. This is, I, I like this. I, I'm very excited with this podcast. I do want to see how it goes. Um, if you want to listen to some financial literacy and increase your financial knowledge and intelligence, definitely listen to the podcast. I'm making a YouTube channel on, that, on it as well. We'll make a separate video like promoting that <laughs> for you guys to check out once there's a few videos on that as well. Um, but overall, I do hope this was helpful for you guys. I really am excited about this. Uh, I want to make more videos on like how to podcast, how to grow yourself. Um, going to learn myself and then try to teach you guys. Going to try my own tips and tips and tricks that I learned from YouTube. But trying to see if that works here. Try to apply that SEO and whatnot, and go from there. But if you like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that F and H out.